end of every session. If you remember, we did it like one time, and then I forget every other time. So oh, yeah. we're, gonna, we're gonna do it at the start of this one retroactively, I guess. Um, so at the end of every session, is there an end session move that you guys can see? Otherwise, I should have looked this up and copied it. Um, in in your player character sheets, masks and session moves. Let's see here. Okay, I can just read them. I guess I don't know if I see them. Oh, here we go. I found them. Boom. Okay, so you're gonna read these three options, and you're gonna pick one for your our last session. So there's a you you can feel that you grew closer to your team. You can feel that you grew into your own yourself. Oh shit! I haven't even like. Have you guys like even read your thing? I have like something called Savior that happens whenever time passes, and I oh. have not been doing that <laughs> at fucking all. I haven't. Yeah, like, I guess this character sheet has more stuff than I honestly thought. Yeah, I have something about my Doom, but... Yes, there is a Doom tracker that's, like, the whole point of the Doomed character we've never used. But <laughs> it's, like, a whole thing. It's, like, a whole thing, and we're not gonna we're not gonna start eight, su eight sessions in. <laughs> I don't think I've done much of it, though. Well, it can... I think at the end of every session, you're supposed to like figure out if, if it would increase or decrease. Here, let's do this first. Then I guess I'll hit my savior thing and we can go around and see if anybody else has questions to hit. Yeah. Because I'm supposed to like ask you guys questions and then take minus one depending on what you guys answer. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yikes. Okay, yeah. So let's do this one first. So whoever thinks they have uh, one of the answers, and this is for last session. And I guess we can also do a recap, I guess, if anyone wants to recap before you pick. Um, and if no one remembers, I can go over it. But if someone does remember, please take it away. Uh, so we found Ben's grandparents. Wait, first we fought that. We were fighting that robot guy still at the end, right? Mm -hmm. Not the beginning, I mean. So we fought yeah. him, and then he was like, fuck it, I'm out of here. And the whole room was collapsing then we saw ben's grandparents they were like wait no save this lab so it turns out they were part of the whole vaccination experiment um and then ben was like screw you guys and i can't remember did you save them or did i think you just left and they were just getting like, there as, yeah as soon as we like, yeah you left out, i just left and they, they were gonna stand there and then What's her name? Watch Watress. Uh, she came for us and we were leaving and she was like, I'm going to blow up the building. And we were like, oh, fuck. So, um, bl not blast, burst. Burst. Oh, and that could have been another good one. Uh, blast. blast. Can I that be my blasting. mom's name? Yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll add that as my mom's name. <laughs> um, let me go to the bottom. Yeah, but then Burst the and I ran back to save Ben's grandparents. We got back just in time. Watchers blew up the building. And then we left. And then I got grounded. Mm -hmm. And was there more past that? Uh, ben came home and was his parents were happy he was home or whatever, but he didn't tell him anything about the grandparents. He went to bed mm -hmm. and then... Uh, Burst went to his computer to look up things about oh, right. Watrous and found out that her mom disappeared the same day that his dad did the big hubaloo, hubaloo, yeah, the big, hubaloo uh, big fight to that made him famous. The League of Supervillains. Yeah, so that happened, and then right, and we ended with a knock happening at um, Burst's door as he realized that Gamma Twenty Three knows who you guys are. And he's yeah. alive. Um, Sadly. So that was the knock at his door. But before we start with the actual game, if anyone wants to tell me what their end of session move is, that'd be great. Um, so we each choose one of these? Yes, yes. Each person chooses one. 
Did you have one, Ben? Some I was, was going to say grow away from the team, but it's the people who have influence over me. I didn't, I guess. Maybe I will grow closer to the team because, like, despite how, like, rough the ending was, they did, like, save my grandparents and st- stuck with it. So, um, they both already have influence. So, uh, I guess that's fine. Clear condition or mark potential. Yes. So that, that sounds great. Yeah, definitely pick one of those. I also was going to ask about, after we'll do this, I'll ask another question. Um, yeah, so you grew closer to your team. What about you, Burst? How, how, how do you feel about these end of session moves? I feel... Hmm, um, let's see, let's see. I don't think I feel much like a hero. I think I, but I'm not, oh, I guess I am. I feel like I grew away from the team Mm -hmm. because me and Emily were, I mean, me and Obsidia were in a tiff. We were having a tiff for sure. And there was a lot of stuff going on overall. And I feel like he thinks that the superhero team isn't acting very superhero-y. So he's definitely having conflicting thoughts about the whole thing. And sadly, though, the only person who has influence on me is Ben. So <laughs> I guess not anymore. Okay. Just Damn. all adults and turbo. Good for them. And yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Absolutely. Um, Zara, what would you say? I would say... Hmm. Kind of in between them now. I feel like I have opposing answers on both sides, and I had a good argument for both. Okay. Give me one second. Great. I would say grow closer to the team because I don't think I felt that close to the team in the first place. I don't think there was much further away to go. And um, I would say it came from, even though Burst and I got in that little fight, we still teamed up to save Ben's grandparents at the very last second. Did you even know I was angry? Because I don't think that I like I very much. I don't think you expressed it very well. Yeah, no, it was definitely like internal angst of getting insulted and bullied and whatever. You you deserved it. Oh, classic. (laughs) Yeah, but I would say grow closer to the team. Great. Yeah, I mean this is absolutely it's like the first bigger superhero thing you did, whether or not it's necessarily superhero ish. Um. Uh, you can take it either way for sure. Absolutely. And the other question I had was about uh, advancements. In this game, advancements aren't really as important as like leveling up, like in D and D is. Uh, obviously, I was wondering if people are people doing it. Is uh, that I still happening? have three more before I have another advancement okay. going on. But you have done them in the past. It's not like you haven't done any. I've only time. done one. I had a someone permanently loses influence over you, and I think I chose my dad for that one. Yes. And then add plus one to a label, so I have the four total, and I think I upped savior to max. Okay, great. Where is this? So advancements on your character sheet. Every time you roll a failure, um, you mark a dot under advancements. So it is right beneath, oh, sorry, it's called potential. Potential is the things that you fill up. Once you have five of them, then you add an advancement. And an advancement, does it tell you the advancements there are? You have to look them on your character sheet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've gotten one so far, and I'm one away from another. Okay, so people are keeping track. Okay, Um, how about after the session, 
Emily, can you make, can you advance Zara at least one? Yeah. Yeah, can you advance Zara one? Give yourself one advancement. Look them up because I don't think they're on these sheets. Okay. Um, and just pick one you want. Uh, but we'll do that after because that's, it won't make that. I mean, in this game, it makes very little impact. Like it's like, it's not that big of a difference really between it's them. Fun. It's fun to have it going, yeah. you know? It's nice yeah. to grow. Um, but yes, so I think we will start then. And the two of you are asleep. So we're going to start with the one who is not. First, you have just finished uh, looking things up about Watrous, or you were in the middle of it, and you realize that Gamma 23 still might remember who you are. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have yes. my savior thing. Yes, that's the other thing you want to uh, do. What is it? Let's see. From what I read, I think I tell everyone. Okay. Uh, ben and Emily, do you guys think I have been upholding the traditions of my legacy? I'd say, yeah. Ben? That's all you talk about. Um, I'm going to say, yeah, because... I'm gonna say your legacy is more of like your uncle, and I think okay. you're living up what your uncle wants. Question number two: Do you guys think I have maintained the, the image of my legacy? Wait, what was the first question again? <laughs> have I been holding the traditions? of my legacy and this one is have i maintained the image so i guess this one is based on how other people see the legacy i'm gonna say no uh, i i'll say i'm saying no and then have i made other members of my legacy proud your uncle the majority i was the majority no <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay, so that's four notes, which means... His uncle or his grandpa? Oh, grandpa. Yeah, yeah. sorry. I was thinking Uncle Iroh. Uncle Iroh. Iro. <laughs> and there we go. That's a fail. And then a... Uh, Eric. So what does that, what does that do? Not a miss. Something you did stirred up the hornet's nest. Expect several members of your legacy to meddle with your life. Oh, okay. People need to meddle. Yeah, good for me. Good for me. Okay, I think that's, I mean, that kind of just coincides with the start of what where we're at. Um, whether or not they really know you did it. Um, so yeah, you hear a knock at your door after... Uh, while, 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 like while you were searching um things what do you do first um i guess i want to get in contact with the other two to tell them that we might have fucked up great so mm -hmm. how are you gonna do that Just... yeah let me think do you guys want me to go to you or do you think that we're tight enough and smart enough to have walkie talkies can you text us? Yeah, this is the 21st session. <laughs> yeah, but I like walkie talkies. Yeah, like but why are you so much off and Three cameras. Tell me that he wouldn't think. Wire. Tell me that Burst would not think that walkie talkies are more superhero like than texting. I feel like he would have like a little Bluetooth piece or something. Mm -hmm. Like he would think that's super techie. He'd be like, like press yeah. a little button. Fine, I'll press my Bluetooth techie tech thing. To call the two of them into a conference call. Into a Zoom oh, we meeting. have to call now? Okay. So, uh, the other two, are you guys up? What I time think... is it? Well, this would have been... I guess this would have been as you guys are probably getting in your room. I don't think you guys would have been asleep yet, because I think Burst would be able to get back home the fastest. So, I guess... How about this? If you think you would fall asleep right away when you get home then you won't answer it. But if you think that like anything would like delay you, I guess like your mom arguing with you, Zara. Do I still have my phone? Did my mom take it or do I still get to keep that? I don't think she took it. 
Okay. I don't think that happened. <laughs> okay. Just so I think you will get it. Ben, do you think you are up? Yeah, I don't or think there's you... any way I'd be able to sleep. So I'd just be like laying, staring at the ceiling, and then Aww. the boop, boop, a doop. Boop, boop, ba doop. So do you guys answer? Uh, reluctantly. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Burst is this outgoing guy, and he has just the most <laughs> introverted partner. Again, this is why I feel he got away from the team. <laughs> Look, you guys are on the call. What's going on? There's been a knock at the first uh, story. Like, have... mm -hmm. What? We literally just fought a robot with cameras for eyes and let it escape. We didn't really okay. let it escape. Well, the point is, it's gone. There's it more knocking. Faces. It, like on my shit. Well, yeah, someone's at your door. I'm going to hang up on them immediately. <laughs> oh my gosh, you just on the phone just to hang up. Okay, I'm going to open the door. Um, are, are Ben and I still on the phone? No, nah, I hung up on you too. Dude. I know, but... but like, yeah, so the host will transfer. We'll jump, back, we'll jump back and forth between what you guys say. We're going to start with Burst though. Um, Burst, yeah, you hang up, you walk over to the door, you open it, and uh, in front of you seems like a very weary... Uh, Zoom. That's your father, correct? Yeah. Um, yes, Zoom is in front of you and his eyes, he seems like he has like bags underneath. He's uncharacteristically uh, tired and he says Gamma Dad, 23. Moisturizer? What? what? <laughs> Gamma 23. Uh, what, what do you know about him? Uh, he's... I, I guess I'd just tell him the basics of what I would know if I were part of the family. Just big robot, famous superhero, sketchy smiley face with the run sign in the middle, a lot of explosives. Okay. That sort of thing. Uh, well, he's he like size. Um, so he's been a, he's been hurt in an, a villain's attack. He's activated his distress signal and he pulls up like a phone that has like a beeping. Uh, the dot on it. Can on I like try a... to memorize the location? Or is it like a GPS or is it more like a radar type of thing? It's like a GPS. It's like dinging it, showing like okay. this is where he's this is where he's located. Yeah. Can I memorize the location? Uh, yes. That. Yes, I think you can memorize. It. I don't think I don't sure. know what the role would be. Uh, yeah, you can study it. Um. Oh, geez. Uh, do you do you want my help? You know, I'm really good with this techie stuff i mean look look at this my bluetooth set i built it myself yeah yeah yes that's what i want um yeah I want you to turbo come can't me. do that only i can i want you to come with me and let's let's go check him out i think he's hurt he doesn't usually yeah we'll, we'll see they yeah. yeah i actually might need you to go get a few parts for me if this is gonna work uh I can try to get a little rundown, get some blueprint schematics, and then get you to, I don't want to wait for Amazon to deliver the parts we need. So it might be better if you just run, get the parts so that I can get this done quick. It seems like you're really stressed out about this. Uh, yeah, tell me what I need to grab. And then... I'm going to give him a list of very obscure and kind of non-existent parts, like the, the windshield fluid, type of thing uh -huh. gotcha. and so just stuff. like a long list with locations based on around the world so i'm gonna be going like oh yeah you gotta go for this one you want to go to frank's techno bar over in north korea uh you're gonna want to go over to uh julio's electrics and us that's gonna be over in uh uh, Puerto Rico, actually, and just send them in a bunch of other places and shit. Okay, so yeah, you hand that to him, and he'll say, "Ooh, they're pretty spread out, but good thing." Keep you your have phone on because I might have to call you to update parts once I actually check up on what's him. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I'll just take the teleporter. It shouldn't take that long. <laughs> and he, <What>? run <laughs> he runs <laughs> off. Um, you guys don't have a teleporter, but the his team does you know he, he's a super 
advanced superhero team, they have a teleporter. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I need to get but this will still take him. This will still take him time. I'm not saying he's going to come back in like the next ten minutes. Um, yeah. You will still have time. This is a great idea. I'm just saying he will come back. He has a teleporter. He's super fast. <laughs> um, but absolutely, so yes. He he takes it, runs off. He's like, yeah, just tell me uh, what you need, and he sends you the location of Gamma Twenty Three as he runs off. Okay, I'm going to try to rejoin the call, but you can do their little powwow yes. first. Let's jump back. So, team. You have been hung up on after getting the call. What are you? What are you guys talking about? He's not back on yet. This is your t conversation before that. Is he coming back? Do you think? Can we go? Uh, who knows? He's fast about everything, so maybe he'll be fast to get back. Maybe. Did he even say he was coming back? I don't got shit else to do. Um, I guess. <laughs> um, I guess we can wait a little bit, but if he doesn't come back soon, I'm leaving. That's fair. Are we the bad guys? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm feeling like the bad guys because we just attacked a government place. I'm going to say technically we didn't do it. Watrous did most of that. We just tried to get your girl yeah. back. Yeah. All right. I'm going to ask, do you think I am losing or gaining humanity? Zara. You ask, are you yeah. asking me? Yeah, I'm asking you. Is humanity like literally being a human or is it... Uh, it's whatever you it's think cool. humanity yeah. means, I guess. Okay. I, I don't get any further um, explanation. explanation. Yeah, because yeah. you're yeah you're a tin you're a tin man, and you're wondering. Mm -mm. I think you're gaining it. I mean, you're doing things to help other people. That seems pretty human to me, as far as things go. Okay. Cool. I, that means things. <laughs> cool. So I think a after you guys have that, unless there's anything else you want to say, Burst will hop on. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, guys. We are utterly fucked. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. It's what the fucking big robot did. <laughs> He activated a distress signal that my dad currently has. I don't know how we're going to deal with this because obviously my gut instinct says to kill this guy, but that's not very hero-like, is it? Can I just have bring in Watrous? Watrous did most of this. <laughs> and we might have to bring Watrous over. Do we have a way to contact her at all? No. Okay, great, great, great. I'm going to forward the location over to you guys, and I'm going to do it with techno magic. I guess in this way, I'm He's literally going to I'm going to drop a pin on Google fucking Maps. Yeah, no, there's a lot of ways. Absolutely, you could do that. <laughs> oh, well, too bad we don't have those walkie talkies. That would make it so much more difficult. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to do. My dad's going to be there soon, and he's expecting me to fix the robot. So. Mm. Can you, you like, clear the memory of it while you're fixing it? And... I could give it a shot, I guess. Honestly, that never even occurred to me. The problem is the robot knows who I am. So I'm going to have to go in in some sort of... I really should not have dressed in my regular costume for our endeavors. I truly should not have. Should we go with you? Are you going to be in trouble? I'm going to need you two to restrain the robot so that I can actually get into its brain and put the thingamajig inside. Uh, you know, the thingamajig. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Every good superhero has a couple of thingamajigs. Yeah. 
I can certainly hold it down. Um, yeah, it sounds like a plan. When? Right now? Yeah, right now. My dad's already got... We apparently I don't know have how that's going to work. Order. We got to go. We got to go. We got to do it now. You're going to have to come jailbreak me, I guess. I can try to do that. Yes, that shouldn't be that shouldn't be terribly impossible. Ben, are you good? Can you can you get your car? Do you need me to? Yeah. Do it? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll send an Uber for you. You get an Uber. I'll deal with the house breaking. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So um, I'm assuming you guys would end your call, and then Uber would come for you, Ben, and you would start heading towards. No, I want the Uber to come over to the house break is the game plan and then try to like time it so that we get onto the uber and drive off as a getaway vehicle oh great so that's a great way of framing it um so we'll say that starts happening but ben doesn't need to role play anything for doing that part of it but the other two of you are going to have to figure out how zara is going to get out of zara's magically locked house all right and there is a demon paddle probably staring at you this whole time like constantly looking at you, no matter where you move in your room. Mm -mm. I burst, then you can just ask really board. nicely. <laughs> okay, how? Okay, so you knock on the front door loudly, or just any, describe that to yep, me. Yep, correct. Uh, like a regular neighborly knock, very polite but firm. Okay. Great. Uh, I don't think you get an answer right away. I'll wait a couple of minutes and then Jesus. knock again. Okay, absolutely. I'm, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll yell. I'm gonna hear the knock and I'm gonna yell, "Mom!" Really loud, trying to annoy her. Hmm. What? What? The door. This is bullshit. You should. You should have to get it. I can't. Oh, this is dumb. Okay, so she'll. Uh, you'll hear some noises coming from inside and like chairs falling over. Um, and then you, the door swings open, burst, and a very disheveled uh, Zara's mom is standing there. Uh, and she'll also have, like, she's holding a stone out towards you. She's like, what do you want? <laughs> oh, wow, Zara's mom, you're looking positively chaotic today. Well, that's really nice of you. Who are you? What? Oh, uh, burst. You know how to I... I'm currently in a little bout of trouble. I'm sure you've you've seen your part of trouble. I mean, dealing with Zara all the time. Can't mm. even imagine it. She's a real piece of work, and she yells that. Well, the issue is, I need that piece of work to crush another piece of work. Uh, you're not talking about like banging or anything like that, are you? Is this some euphemism? <laughs> uh, no, ma'am, I'm not. We can't smart have any more. That demon babies you know what i mean i've had one that's enough okay ma'am ma'am your daughter is saved clearly solely for zach efron oh no i need her to what? restrain a <laughs> what what did superhero. you say what did you say come in here burst you need to sit down and describe me what do you what do you mean sit Sam, in that chair She's i am in an emergency one of the chairs i god I'm gonna sit down. Okay. Ma'am, I need your daughter to help restrain a superhero. It's funny you should say that. And as you, uh, as she says that, the chair straps like magically come over your arms and are gonna lock you in. Oh no. What the like, fuck? What did you say about my daughter? <laughs> Reserved? She has a crush. <laughs> Look what you priorities. did. I need to do this quick. It'll be a good life lesson for your daughter. Fighting a superhero? Wait, she should be fighting supervillains. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this guy's a villain. It's one of those corrupt superheroes. Hmm. That's even more villainy than anything else. Okay. And there's government conspiracy tied in oh i'm liking yeah. it continue <laughs> the vaccines are into it so if you really want to stick it to the mayor <gasps> i do really okay. in fact How if you want this? to come and help i'm all for it, honestly 
No, I'm not. I've had enough of that. But you can take Zara and no sex. That's off limits. <laughs> I'm putting that as a rule. Is that? Mm -hmm. I will make sure she doesn't do anything lewd with anyone, male, good. female, or otherwise, during our trip. Okay, that's good. Yeah, absolutely. She'll, she'll unrestrain you. The restraints will go down. Um, but I better see a lot of damage to the mayor from this. And you're going to have to explain yourself later, probably, in some way. I'll definitely Does be mad again in the morning. You and me, please? Wait, what? Can it stay between you and me, please? Uh, it depends how flustered I get and if I say it later, but maybe. Positively chaotic. <laughs> Amazing as always. Um, and then she'll say, like, yeah, she's up in her room. I think I'll take down the magic. And she like waves her hand. And Zara, in your room, the magic fades. The, the magic like door number that was flashing and saying how long until you can get up, get up and get nice. out. Nice. All right, I'm so, going to leave my room and slam the door behind me, and... Uh, can I just bow and fucking abduct this woman? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can, <laughs> as you rush her out, her mom is going to definitely start yelling um, at her and be like, absolutely no sex, Zara. I heard that you're... And I'm going to run out the door. Into. I'm going to run out the door and telepathically slam the door behind me. <laughs> okay, so you guys are outside as an Uber pulls up. Uh, ben, you're in the back seat of it. Uh, what do you guys do? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Is, is it going to be one of those Uber rides where no one talks? Because Who's the driver? They don't play the radio at all. It's just silence. Yeah, it like is. Bert so what are you guys going to say? Talking a lot. <laughs> Zara, your mom's unique. Thanks. <laughs> is her magic unlimited? Or what's the deal with all that? It's kind of kind of weird. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about the source of your thing. I don't know. I don't know what she does. <laughs> if I did, you know I wouldn't let her do it. I know what I do, but I'm half a demon. She's not half demon. I thought she was a demon. No, my dad's a demon. A demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just going to contemplate that new information for a bit. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, you guys, it actually won't be that far. It's only probably like one neighborhood over. It's even, your neighborhood is, you know, lower middle. Uh, and this one's getting to lower, uh, lower. And a lot of the parts are abandoned as you pulled up to the outside. Oh, wait one second. Not all those should be revealed. <laughs> um, I mean, you guys have already seen all these things before. That one of those is just bursts sad. And everyone's yeah. gamma 23. Um, so yeah, you guys pull up to a building such as this. Uh, it's very run down. You can see on your tracker, the, the light's blinking. And if you pull right up in front of here. Um, what do you guys do? First, you're taking the lead on this. Yeah, this is all you, buddy. Okay. I want to try to do a scan of the building to kind of get an idea of where this guy's at, what's inside, what's waiting for me. Yes, absolutely. Um, do an unleash your powers, I guess. We'll see what you can see through. Do you want to unleash or like an assess the situation type of thing? I want that one. The assess the situation. The one you yeah. said. Great job. Uh, that's a hit. I don't know what that means for me. I think me you get to ask one question on the assess a situation list. Yeah, I just usually have this like up in one of my tabs. It's masks, RPG moves. And there's the link I usually have open. Okay. Mm. How could we best end this quickly? Okay, great. Yes. So you scan in, and it looks like a rundown building. It's not like some safe house or anything like that. It really is just like a piece of shit building in a poor neighborhood that he's uh, escaped to. You see that the electrical lines are like live. I mean, there isn't like no power in the building necessarily, but pretty much the only mechanical thing you see with your, you know, vision is a blob. It's not really a blob. It 
Gamma 23 ish sized, um, kind of like sitting down on the first floor up against one of the walls. So what do you do with that info? Um, oh, sorry, that, that's what you see. Well, how do you end this quickly? Um, I guess yeah. you fix this guy or erase his memory or kill him or uh, you see Gamma 23 and however, you, the way you're going to end this is however you decide, I guess. So God, <laughs> you. What a really shit. <laughs> I'm going to relate this information to them and I'm like, okay, I yeah. think you two need to go first so that I can sneak up from behind, above, or whatever. Because as soon as he sees me, he might realize what we're trying to do. If you two show up, he might just think we're trying to destroy him as opposed to trying to completely mind wipe him. Can you like knock him out from here? You know, I wish I was that smart, but I'm not my mom yet. I can try to throw an EMP to kind of like momentarily freeze him, but we can. Yeah, I don't know. We can try. We can give it a shot. Do we can it. also just yeah, go for it. Okay. Do you two want to take front positions or? Yeah, sure. Great. So you guys like line up right outside the building. Um, right out, like right outside one of the doors, and you're able to breach whenever you want. This feels so. Oh. And I'm gonna chuck in my EMP grenade inside to try to freeze them and give them an opportunity to do what they gotta do. Oh, I get to break down a wall. Nice. Yeah. So you you know you hear the bounces after he throws it. Um, before it explodes, are you guys are you guys already entering? I'm smashing my way through the scenery to get. Yeah, it definitely doesn't away from people, so. Get the jump on him. Great, yeah, so you smash through the wall as the EMP explodes. Uh, ben, you're the first one through from what it sounds like, and you see that uh, Gamma 23 is just resting against a wall, and when the, you know, he has red blinking lights on uh, and has no re had no reaction to the noises, you know, the, ex the EMP or you bursting, and the EMP explodes next to him, uh, but it doesn't seem to change anything. It seems like he's still just a blinking red light he still has he's missing the top half of his body because you guys blew that off and he's missing his right arm and uh he's like you know not in good shape as he's up against uh the wall so that's what happened that, that, that that's what you all will see when you go in but ben you see this first as you burst through the wall uh so what do you guys do he doesn't seem i think we should still right. try to restrain him could be a trap yeah, so I'm gonna agree. I think this is a trap. I think we were lured in, but yeah, that's okay. I, I think we still go to grab him at least. Okay. Um, one second, Ben. What did you roll for? That um, one of my powers is to like break through. Oh, what and happens on an eight? See the monster. On a seven through nine. Oh wait. No, that's the wrong one. Unstoppable. On a seven through nine, choose one. Mark a condition. Leave something behind or take something with you. You take part of the wall? I marked a condition, but now I'm thinking that might not have best, been the best move. But that's the move I chose. <laughs> Great. Not <Absolutely>. excited. <laughs> you marked a condition. Um, what, what, what condition do you take as... I mean, he's unreactive to your you know, dynamic entrance. Angry that I have to fucking come back here and okay. do this illegal shit. Great. Yeah, so you guys were going to go move to restrain him. Uh, what, how do you do that? What do you mean? I grab his remaining limbs. Mm -hmm. What's he got left? An arm and two legs. He has his his rocket launcher arm. He has his two little itty bitty T Rex arms, and then he has his two legs. I'm gonna grab his arm and the T Rex arm and say, "Ben, go for the legs." Okay, and I'll just like. I'm gonna try to like, pinch them together. No, I'll use like tele is it telekinesis, not telepathy. I said the wrong thing earlier. Uh, telekinesis to like try and lock them together even tighter. 
Great. So you lock his legs and his arms together, you're saying? Uh, I'll lock his two arms together. So he still has one free T Rex, and we don't have that many hands. Because I, oh, okay. I doubt you can wrap both of his T Rex arms unless. I'm trying to think of this logistically. I guess you could grab all of his arms, but I feel like those tiny things would slip out. I mean, I can, like... Can you pinch them all together? I, I feel like I could, like, wrap them. Yeah, you could. Yeah, go for all those, and I'll pin his rocket arm, like, behind his back. Yeah, I'll do that. Great. So you guys feel like you have uh, very well restrained him. He had made no action while this was happening um burst what are you doing as they're doing this okay i want to run over to the robot real quick and run an analysis to see if the guy is actually still in this robot body or if it's just a husk uh great yes roll me yeah, a jig. probably an assess the situation probably an assess the situation Mm. That seems right to me. Good, 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 good. Okay, so it's a situation. I'm about to level up again, though. Yay! So yeah, as, as you start, you know, you're you're moving through a security or whatever, as you do technology. Um, you notice that, you, like, right as you start seeing that he he is still there. Um, it says like inhibitor inhibitor chip disabled, and uh. And it's flashing virus, and then you start getting a virus on whatever equipment you're using. Mm. And it starts freaking yeah, out. What are you doing? Scanner. I'm going to crush it and just chug. And no, I'm not going to crush it. I'm going to keep it for later use as a, like an analysis type of thing. I'm keeping it. I'm like, he's in here. Keep him, keep him steady. And I'm just going to try to find a USB port. To plug in my my own virus? Oh, very nice. Yeah, there'll be a USB port for sure. You can find one. Hey, it's uh, universal. Do you want me to roll anything or? Uh, to yes, I would say. Do you have a virus ready? Can I charge? Uh, yeah, on the I, I'd say it's a thing in my jig that I prepared from knowing right. it's gonna be what's going down. So before we have that, Zara, what were you asking? This was a, this is an out of character question. Could I hypothetically charge my phone on this robot? Yes. Okay. Nice. I love that. <laughs> um, <laughs> great. So, can I play Snake on this robot? <laughs> if we hook up a video game console to this robot, can we play video Skyrim, games? Skyrim, honestly, can Snake. we run Skyrim on this robot? <laughs> Look, he's a super advanced robot. Of course, you can do all of these things. <laughs> Yeah, easy. This would be easy for him. Um, nice. But if you want, this time I want you to roll and unleash your powers to see if you can uh, bypass you know, his security and download your own virus. And I also want you to tell me, what, what do you want that virus to do exactly? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 unstable or temporary effect. Okay. So what I want it to do is replace the art images with deep fakes of hmm. what the fuck should i do what would be a what would be a good one um i'm just gonna pick random superheroes that have similar powers to ours or super villains, I guess. Random super villains. Makes sense. That's okay. Because I can't be the only speedster. Ben can't be the only strong one. And Emily can't be the only magic E one. So. Okay. So, um, you can like see its progress, right? As you can like watch the memories fly by, and you see that it it goes through the first one. Who's the first hero? It does. Like it'll it'll deep fake one person all the way. And who is that? Um. Also, tell you, it'll do. Her. It'll do two people, and then on the third one, something will happen. But it'll at least do two people fully. I'm gonna do Ben and Zara. Oh. I think 
Oh, I was gonna think you should do Ben and yourself. You're the most identifiable. Yeah, so you see that uh, Ben, it's able to replace it with, um, I guess, Tin Man, who's a villain, who doesn't like what he got named, and it's from Wizard of Oz. He's annoyed with that. So that replaces him. <laughs> and then on the second loop around, um, for Zara, I think it probably just gets replaced with, like, Crystal Witch or whatever. Um, some witchy lady uh, will replace it. And on yours, it's you know about a third of the way and the bar starts like freaking out and uh you hear systems online and you guys are gonna have to restrain as all of the limbs try to start pulling apart i'm not done so i want let's see here one of i want ben you're holding on to four limbs the all four of the bottom ones yeah okay i want you to roll me and unleash your power to stop them from like doing anything and i want uh zara is gonna help you out because Wait, can, I have my tele- can i have my telekinesis on those two like all the limbs yes absolutely uh, okay yeah, yeah yeah so i'll say i'll i'll say that ben you get a plus one because of that because of zara's help sick okay and i'm rolling and unleash your powers Hell too yeah. Uh, no, I, I was just going to group, because you were only holding, like, one. I was just going to group yours as helping Ben's Oh, okay. Character. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, Ben, you're able to act, absolutely crunch them all together still. Uh, they're still trying to move, but they're locked in. And then, Zara, you're able to restrain the one missile launcher arm, though it can still, of course, launch missiles, probably, you think. <laughs> um, but you can hear it, like, system initializing. What do you guys do? Um, can I telekinesis a rock into his head? <laughs> a rock? Yes. Classic. Uh, Classic. I'm just trying to knock him out. I don't know how to knock a robot out. So, a rock... <laughs> oh, cool. um, a rock launches at him and it smashes into it and it doesn't seem to do anything because it's a rock and it's a super advanced robot. So that's what you do. Oh, you try like to throw a big rock from like the wall that Ben broke. Okay. It's not like a pebble. <laughs> <laughs> um, sure. I, it's not going to be effective. Okay. I mean, yes, this is a yes. That's not effective. <laughs> so yeah, How the, can it's... break him if a rock can't break him. <laughs> if one rock thrown at him can't kill him, what can? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> He's probably invincible. Um, so Zara tries to throw a rock, and it's ineffective against this highly advanced military tech. Uh, what do the other two of you do? I'm just holding on. Great. Yeah. So you're continue- you're you're still able to hold with that ten. Um, well, burst. What are you doing? So the download is. Was it officially like? Is it still in progress or? Uh, so it right now is like freaking out and it doesn't seem to be making any progress, but maybe a tech expert could do some hacky stuff and push it for, yeah, 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 farther yeah, yeah. or something like that. I know, stuff. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go try for behind its firewall, AKA I'm going to stick something else in its USB port on its butt. I thought you said there would be no sex. For you. It I, always promised for my you mom. I want a thing of a jig. On a USB port. Another one. Absolutely. So you stab it in. um, uh, Please roll me, unleash your powers, and then describe, yeah, like what what, what you do to to sneak around it and get your your program working again. Um, I think that the program is going to work. It's just like a backup virus type of thing. Like we'll say it's like just a... I don't know. I don't know literally any a Trojan horse so, or something science But the main issue is getting to it. And I think what I'm going to try to do is just another situation of I'm at the top, I'll say. that That's where I'd put it, the first USB port at the top. Yeah. And I'm going to phase through straight down the middle to the bottom and then just go right from below. Straight right. below, up above. 
Great. So you're able to get your virus in, and you can see its progress bar fills all the way. Uh, what what do you replace yourself with? Just some other speedster? Um, I'm going to make this... Mm, mm, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do, I think, another speedster... And I'm going to have the speedster have like a little, mm, no, I'm not going to do any of that. Just another speedster. I don't want to. Get okay. We're going to say it's Scarlet. Um, that's, that'll be a person that it is. Great. So you do that and the, right as it ends, well, that's what it is. As it ends, what do you do? Your virus is done, but you're still connected to it and your friends are still withholding, uh, Gamma twenty three, and it'll probably uh, start. Can, to we, say, is the, can the virus have him reboot or something? They can. I think on a ten, you can say, "Yeah, absolutely." It can okay. uh, shut him down and reboot him. Both of you leave here. I'm gonna act like I'm fixing my, him up now. The virus is complete. It literally won't show your guys' faces anymore. You two are safe and good to go. All right, we got book it. Just That's figure out that can. We'll, we'll wait. Maybe near... faster. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna grow like eight legs and go out like a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine like <laughs> little bits of meatball that you like <laughs> or still falling out. <laughs> I'm gonna say tell Burst. We'll wait for you like kind of nearby in case anything happens. Uh, your cover story, I think, would be that you're trying to protect me from whoever did this. Yeah, well, we can wait, like, a block away. Or we can wait outside. Is your dad going to be weird? You can just wait outside. I okay. we can just tell him that you guys are here to protect me because we don't know. Well, we know what did this, but, yeah. Who knows? Oh, wow, who could have done all this? <laughs> yeah, we'll wait outside. Fantastic. So uh, Ben does his little transformation and he weirds, weirdly leaves. I mean, it's, you guys have known him for weeks and he's never done this before. So <laughs> it's probably really weird that he please, does this. Please stop doing that before his dad gets <laughs> uh, I'll retract uh, one of my legs. <laughs> seven. I think seven is worse than eight. <laughs> Absolutely. So you two leave and it sounds like you guys are going to set up shop like right outside the building? Or are you guys, or are you guys going like Nearby and and like gonna act like you're patrolling. Is that what is that what you guys meant? Probably a patrol. That seems yeah, more natural than just sitting there. Great, Wait, how yes. are we gonna explain who busted in the wall? I mean, we needed to get in to help him, so we busted. Was there not the a wall. door? There is a door. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> My dad, I, you're both dumb, anyways, so it's fine. I got trigger happy, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can like use the door to walk out. Like, there's a big hole, and right next to that big hole is just like a normal door. We'll say it was locked when we got there. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. So you guys, uh, you leave, and you go on to do your little patrolling. Um, Burst, what are you doing as they leave? Uh, I'm actually gonna like take whatever, analyze this robot to see like how it takes and what basic, bare basic fixes I can do to make him run again and tell my dad that it's a job well done. Uh, okay, absolutely. My main game plan if I'm able to get a full hit on anything or anything would be to leave a little door to kind of be able to take control of this robot at some other stage in life. Oh, very nice. So I think um, as you're doing your diagnostics, uh, it'll be filling up and we'll do a roll later, uh, I think, for something like that. But uh, you're going to hear, you know, is he fixable or is he OK? Coming from behind you, it definitely sounds like your dad. You going to turn around? You know his voice. Uh, you'll see he's carrying a bunch of different uh, items. It's like, I couldn't really find a lot of what you said, but hopefully this works. I'll hand you all these like weird tech tech things um, from all around the world. What do you do? 
So he's not completely shut down. As of right now, he's just rebooting to kind of get his systems back into place, but he took a lot of physical damage. Like, a lot. I'm surprised. Uh, do you know what caused this at all? Like, when did this happen? Where was he? Oh, this was, uh, it was tonight. There was, I mean, some villains attacked uh, one of the government in installations on the west side. And, oh, I, um, well, you don't have clearance for that first, you know. <laughs> Maybe maybe once you move up a little bit. I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't tell you right now. Um, but maybe, may, actually, maybe after you repair him, maybe we can get you that clearance. I mean, this would be a great thing you're doing. Yeah, no, I'm tr really trying hard here, Dad. And I hope you understand that I wouldn't be able to do this if I were to take the vaccine that you're promoting. Oh, uh, so, I mean, you're right. With uh, you with villain, the turbo spilled water on our Wi-Fi router three times last week. Look, turbo is definitely fast. Really uh, fast. He, yeah, he's really good at that. Uh, but I just look with villains, I can do stuff like this. And he's gonna point to the right. He's like, we, you're right. We, our family, we can't, we can't lose, stand to lose a hero, you know. You're absolutely right. It's a very dangerous place, Dad. You got that right, at least. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I even proposed such an idea. Uh, after seeing this, you know, us heroes, we need to. We know what we know what's right. And I need to keep all of us around. Dad, family always sticks together. You know that. Mm hmm. Absolutely. So, well, I'm happy to hear you can. Uh, what else, do you need? Anything else? What 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 ha what needs to happen here? I don't know. You, Eric, you told me like, what do I like? Do I know the general things I need to fix him up? Yeah. So I I think uh, while you guys were talking, um, your whatever your wrist thing or whatever beeps and it finishes, uh, and you will see. You wanted to do the bare minimum that would get him running again. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as he turns on, he's still flashing uh, right a little bit. You rebooted him, but as you know, he had a virus when you came in. Um, and I think so you're going to have to get rid of that. And I think in response to that, your dad's going to be like, oh, Jesus, he has a virus? Yeah. I mean, you said he was in a government facility, right? Yeah. Maybe they were trying to, I like I said, I really don't. You didn't tell me what this was for, but there's always the possibility that they were trying to get any government files he might have on him, any government data he might have just seen. I mean, who knows, really? Like, only the villains who did this would be able to tell him. Uh huh? And he's you're, he's looking at it. Uh... You know, I'd be able to. I'd be probably able to get you a copy of whatever video he has of the situation. Yeah, we're going to want that either way. That that's a great idea. You should definitely do that. Um it looks like his inhibitor chip is gone. Uh I think he So when we put him in this body, we had to put an inhibitor chip because he, you know, uses lots of drugs. He pro uh, he can't anymore because he's not a human, but he probably downloaded that virus himself. Mm -hmm. Or something. I mean, probably yeah. using it again. That's. I must have gotten my smarts from somewhere, and clearly it's from you. Mm -hmm. Well, that, that's accurate. Yes, um. Okay. Yeah. Definitely download that video, and then I will be a game master again. I think some of the part you will have enough parts, like all the shit he gave you. There's definitely enough here for you to put them back on and repair this guy. Perfect. Um, so you will be able to repair him. You can repair him a bare minimum. You probably have enough to repair him, like, pretty all right as well. But it sounds like you just wanted to do the bare minimum, so... So you will have the, the, the things necessary to do that. So, yes. What, but you will have to also get rid of the virus. So, on, like, on a full hit, 
you'll do all of that and you'll get that extra thing you wanted. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, you'll probably just fix them. And if not, then we'll see what happens with that. But before. Yeah, that sounds good. So as, as you start uh, to get down and ready to fix them, what are the other two? What are you guys doing? Anything? Ben's still a seven legged spider. It's back to eight. You said you don't like seven, so. <laughs> I'm kind of, yeah, I'm playing with this. I'm seeing if I can, like, climb walls and stuff. But I don't think I can. Oh, okay. Like, Maybe probably not, then. Can, I yeah. can I trick him while he's doing that? I'm going to, like, telekinesis him up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So, Ben, I think you can climb walls now. I think you think you can climb walls now. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um... Great. So that, that's what you guys are doing. Having a little play around, I guess. Um, we'll jump back to what Burst is doing. So yeah, Burst, give me a roll. It probably just not unleash your powers, right? To fix this guy. Nice. Ooh. Oh, great. Well. So describe yeah, how you do it. The traits are like savior and freak. And then almost everything else is in the negatives. Which makes sense. Um, okay, so I use my super speed to quickly find all the parts and my super smarts to make the parts fit together. And then as I go along, whenever I'm like in the backside away from my dad's like direct line of sight, yeah, I like sneak in my own little bits and pieces. And I'll keep fixing him until... Um... I'll give him one of the cannons, not two. The other one, I'll say it's uh, unsalvageable and just leave it on the side. I'm just going to keep it. Okay. Mila, are you in black and white or is the lighting just weird? The lighting's probably weird. Here, you know, can tell me if this assists. <laughs> I thought you were just going to turn the lights out. I was like, Amelia, I don't think that's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot more colorful. I was like, why are you, how did you change your camera set? I don't know. Depends on what Eric's viewers like. Maybe they like me in more black and white. Who knows? Who even knows uh, if Eric is recording it all? Honestly. Hopefully. Messed it up last time. Shit. I am recording it, but I messed something else up. I think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> One second. You really messed up our best sessions. I have messed up a lot of things recently I like, in regards to I recording. Like Spider -Man. Um... Okay. Well, I guess half of it will be visuals will messed up. I think the audio is still fine, though. Oh, I thought you didn't usually record the visuals. No, I, I do both. I do both. Uh, anyways, so yes, you were describing that you replaced some of the parts with your own, and you said that this would give you the ability to take him over when you want it. Is that accurate, Burst? I'd say that's pretty accurate. Or at least accurate. Great. Oh, yeah. Uh, fantastic. So as you finish up, I think your uh, father lays a hand on your shoulder, you know, as you back away and it turns on, he starts getting up and he says, great job, son. You know, honestly, it seems like you should just be a mechanical hero instead of a speedster. Dad, I'm both. And the fact, I've even been to any of my training sessions or no. Well, now I'm busy. You know, those are for training. I don't, I don't go to those. Okay, Dad. That's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm off. I'm off doing missions. But great job. Uh, you you made him. It, is he online yet? Like, he isn't talking. He is mostly operational. There's some parts I couldn't a hundred percent fix with what we commonly have. I think the rest. Does he have a warranty? Um, no, that seems a little insensitive. No, if he's a person, he's a person. Okay, you don't think that putting a person in a robot and making them your slave is insensitive? Making him my slave? What? Dad, dad. Let's just not think about this too hard. He works, he'll walk around. 
but I couldn't fix them 100% with the limited equipment I had. I mean, I guess if I had some more government help and access, I could potentially look deeper into his blueprints and figure things out to get him back to 100%. But otherwise, I'd leave him to petty crimes, uh, small-time villains, nothing too major. You know, nothing like, you know, like the heydays, League of Supervillains type of thing. You said you might need more access and you can do it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Dad, I am, I, am, uh, I am your wife's son, after all. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll see what we can do. I mean, I definitely want a game with 23 back, for sure. Okay, well, I guess we'll just see what he can do. We'll bring him home with us. I had actually a few ideas. I've been researching him, and I could potentially even make him uh, have a little extra accessory to shoot out uh, some bur uh, some uh, what, what's our family name again? I completely forgot. I'm also not sure what you're. It was like speed or something. It's something like it's like flash or something, right? It's something speed related. Yeah, I guess we'll say uh, speed. Are we all good with speed, or do we rather flash? Isn't Flash a person? No. He's... Light is the first guy. I don't think you... Did you pick a family name? Hmm. I guess this is the time to do it, right? Yeah, what, what, what is it? Fast. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Eric, you're usually creative at this. I was going to say Light. Speed, but if your founder was named Light Lightspeed, that's just <laughs> yeah. Let's just call it Speed, and we'll say yes. that yeah. the first one, and then the rest are whatever. The first yeah. one was Light Speed. That works. Uh, he can shoot out some uh, some speed merch. Blast Speed sounds fantastic. You know, I I, I think I've been thinking about at, like he could have the potential of adding a uh, entertainment mode. No, we're not going to do that. Oh, absolutely not. Damn, can't believe you didn't recommend that. I'm just doing my part. I'm giving you options. Yeah. He's a person first. It's not just some machine, you oh, know? Yeah, entertainment. Mm. Okay. Yeah, let's take him home. Uh, and yeah, you guys uh, will... Let's see here. I guess he probably also brought like a semi with him or something big enough to house Gamma 23 to you know drive him back to your guys' compound where Gamma 23 will... Sit. He's not like fully online yet. Like you were saying, he's still getting there. So he'll come back with you guys that way. Um, so you guys load him up onto the vehicle and Zara and Ben, you will see this. What do you guys do? Uh, I guess we'll ask Burst. Do you still need us around? Also, did Burst dad just not comment on the fact that Ben was spidering? Up oh, I thought you, you guys were patrolling, you said. That means you aren't you aren't there. Like you guys would see this from afar. Oh, right, yeah. It's I guess just we, those we two. We're patrolling. I forgot we were doing that. I thought we were just standing. So did we oh, just stop on a I'll random like, section of street so that you could spider up and down the wall? Yeah, I mean we're just in like a industrial Actually, area. Actually, I feel like I was hiding. I feel like I was hiding around the corner so that you didn't even know I was there to telekinesis. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just if we so we see them, but they don't see us. Uh, yeah, unless you want them to. I, I'll just say like we should probably just Go. not be seen. Yeah. Fantastic. So, like, away into the shadows. Yeah. So everyone uh, leaves for the night. You guys are able to go home and do whatever you need to do at home. Uh, does anyone have anything else they want to go over on this night? Anything else they want to do? And this night at this point is, you know, like three in the morning. Am I back to being grounded when I get home? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I think absolutely. your mom will be asleep this time. If you're getting home at like almost four... Probably he's asleep. 
Okay, this time I'm, I'm I'm really sneaky. I'm like a shadow. Great. Absolutely. I mean, you have demon power, so I think you can do that. <laughs> She's just a normal human. Yeah, like a weird normal human. <laughs> Um, Grace, yeah, you can sneak inside. Uh, and she's probably like passed out on the couch, surrounded by different stones. Um, I'm going so... through the window. Oh, you're going through the window. Okay. Wait, great. no, my window's not open anymore. Never mind. I gotta go in the front door. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you can see that there's like a cauldron next to her that's like bubbling and overflowing uh, <laughs> as she's asleep on the couch. I guess I'll clean that up before it, I don't know, burns a hole in the floor. Absolutely, yeah. So you clean that up and uh, put it away or whatever. What? What? And then are you going to bed? That type of thing? Yeah, I'm going to bed. Great, Ben. I'm just going to walk through the front door and go to bed. Um. Uh, great. Let's see this time. <laughs> So you're not trying to be quiet again? Did you tell your parents you were leaving or anything? No. Um, and yeah, I guess I, I'm being quiet, but oh, okay. not like, I'm not like slamming anything, but I'm not like, I'm just walking in. Um, maybe it'll wake up. Uh, make me a roll. Let's and... see. Let's say you have to unleash your powers for this, <laughs> just to be quiet. Um, yes. So yeah, give me an unleash your powers and let's see. Oh, you're able to sneak. You're very sneaky tonight. Probably as a spider <laughs> crawling around. Um, yeah, so you're able to get in there and go to sleep. Uh, burst. You're, uh, there's a driver probably in the semi. I don't think your dad would actually drive. I think he would have someone else do it for him. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you guys are headed back. Do you have anything else to say to him during this, or are you guys going? Well, what's happening there? Otherwise, you guys can just be quiet or you know hey, whatever. Dad, you want. Do you think I'll ever be a real superhero? <laughs> are you not? You're part of our family. You better be a real one. But I don't have, I guess, the license to be a superhero. Oh, well, that, I mean, that law hasn't been instituted yet. It will be soon, hopefully, but it isn't yet. I think I, you'll pass. I just don't feel like I'm in the same league as you or Turbo sometimes, you know? Well, I mean, I've been doing this for decades, so you're definitely not in the same league as me. And, you know, I mean, Turbo has been in some of the nation's hottest young adult leagues yes and that's what he's that's all he says it's like yep more or less he said yes <laughs> but a little nicer than that thanks Ed. that's that's all i really needed to know i say in like mm -hmm. a happy chipper voice yeah exactly i mean look you'll get there keep hacking stuff and you'll definitely get there just so you know, like all this time, he's definitely been seething on the inside. Yeah. Like this was the dad's last chance to really try to get him on his side. No, absolutely not. As oh, I figured. I, I yeah. Get away his influence. Uh, actually, I guess he doesn't have influence anymore. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, no. That he already doesn't. Yep, definitely. That bridge is a hundred percent burnt. Great. Yeah. So you guys pull up. He unloads it, um, and he'll say, you know. Uh, th thanks so much. Uh, I know this was late, but villains can attack at any time, and we got to save our, our own. Hey, Dad, don't worry about it. You know I'll always have your back. Good to hear. Uh, I'm going to go have some more things to do, but uh, see you oh, tomorrow. I bet, I bet you do. Uh, good night. He leaves. Um, and that's where you guys are. Do you do anything else that night? I... I'm going to go back on my computer and uh better not call us again. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna start to try to get the password for the mayor's email account. I'm gonna go for for her emails. Classic <laughs> political move. 
Um, okay. That's going to be the, like a whole night type of thing. Great. Um, please. Let's see here. Okay, you're going to... Uh, you're not going to get them, I don't think at all. I'm sorry, you're not even going to roll. But you will yeah. find out that that the way to get them like you'll you'll be looking around and i think you'll see that if you go into the mayor's you know actual home or where she works like if you have a hard line into her internet then you might be able to get past like the decryptions and get it from there nice nice, nice. great absolutely so that's what you find out as the sun rises in the morning and everyone wakes up uh, so we'll do a time passes right there. Uh, do you guys do anything in the morning? It is a school day also. Otherwise, we will jump forward. Okay. I think I'm going to tell my parents that I'm sick and not go in. See, I got a, a knot in my stomach. And then I'm, oh. Oh, Just okay. stay home. So you tell them that they're like, do you need a, a we have vitamin C or iron? What do you need? <laughs> Wait, I mean, we, could, we could probably just find some iron. <laughs> oh, that, would that help? I'll say that's, a, that's not funny, but yes, I do need iron. <laughs> not funny. Oh, I, we're so sorry. What? Uh, I'll down I mean, like half a bottle of iron pills or something. <laughs> Absolutely. Made of aluminum or <laughs> aluminum? <laughs> He's not made of iron. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you'll die. Yeah, you're, you'll down those iron pills. Uh, absolutely. And they'll say they'll like touch your head, and they say, "Well, you feel cold." <laughs> that could be anything, though. I don't know. <laughs> I guess stay home if you don't feel good. I'll have my stomach like compress so. Oh, you could pretend to like throw up those meatballs you had stuffed <laughs> in. I think I'll, I'll do that too. So, like meatball falls out of. <laughs> oh my! We haven't even had meatballs. Where did you get this? <laughs> ben. I'm not feeling good. I'll just like sulk back to my room. Okay. Yeah. He needs. Wait, he needs a minute. Meatballs been in. Like two days now. Yeah, they'll be really digested. Yeah. yeah. Um, Wait, but you didn't eat them. You wrapped no, them. No, they've just been sitting. Oh. <laughs> okay, they'll be really mossy and gross, then I guess. <laughs> um, but yeah, your parents will agree that it's fine for you to take the day off in this situation. <laughs> they don't know any better, for sure. Um, so yeah, you're able to skulk, up, skulk upstairs. Um fantastic and then zara i think in the morning your mom's gonna ask Wh where's my cauldron zara my cauldron it was overflowing onto the floor I zara it out. that was your plan b now you're gonna be pregnant and we're gonna have a stupid <laughs> demon baby oh zara i'm not pregnant i don't want another demon I'm baby i'm not pregnant there's no you don't know demon. what it does to you it tries to eat its way out zara Maybe I had to I magically should. restrain you. I can't believe you would say that. I literally gave up my stomach lighting for you and utero, uterus. You got really far, I'll say, it's on the first go. It's my fault you banged a demon. It was pretty great. But don't do it. We definitely don't need a three-fourths demon baby I'm not in doing this family. Anything. And your cauldron was everywhere. Maybe you should keep better track of your cauldrons. It had about 50 doses, okay? So it, it was it really would have done the doses. job. <laughs> I don't know what you do every night, Zara, okay? Actually, I do because I watch you, but I don't know what you're doing during the day. Well, your cauldron's gone. You can make a new one if you really want to. And yeah, she immediately is going to start mixing things together. <laughs> um, and that's what your morning is like. Uh, so you, sorry, what? I said terrible. <laughs> so you're going to start heading to school and then, because you said you would, you would, uh, Burst, what are you doing in the morning of the next day, if anything? Having tea with Grandpappy. Aww. 
Great. Is there anything you want to discuss with him, or do you just want a general vibe? What, uh, what, what do you no, want with that? Sure. I'll use my, I might as well use my moves at the point of the game. Words of the past. He's my Very elder. nice. I seek guidance. So. Mm, it'll be taking a long sip as you seek your guidance. What are you doing? Granddad, I, I ran into a bit of an issue. Mm. I think I'm starting to understand what I want to do in life. But I don't think dad would particularly agree or be happy. In fact, I'm starting to realize that I kind of like making him mad. Uh huh. Well, the point is, do you think I should just follow what he wants me to do? Or do you think I should just try to go my own way? It's a good question. I think everyone needs to go their own way. It's like a nice cup of tea. There's lots of options. And I might say you should drink this one, which you should. This one. First, grab that one. So but you, you don't have to. So you don't. So you can grab this one if you want. You know, I made a lot of cups. If you can have any of them, actually, I made a lot. But you, I'm saying you should pick what you want. This metaphor got a little mixed up because I really you aren't drinking enough. But <laughs> what what it's about is I think you should select any of them that you want. I don't think you should select one that would make you know your father angry necessarily, just to make him angry. That doesn't sound good. He's a hard man to get along with. I understand that. Oh, absolutely. Um, I've known him his whole life, so he's definitely tough, but yeah. you have to decide what you want what to do. What do you think is the best way to get along with my dad, to have us settle our differences? I want us to be a family, oh. kind of like when I was ignorant and didn't really know that my dad favored Turbo so much. Well, ignorance is always the solution there. Mm. Um, but so that you asked two questions. You said, what, what is it to settle our differences and to be a family? And you don't need to do one to do the other. Those aren't opposite sides. Uh, we, to live as a family, our generation, what we did was we got a very large mansion mm -hmm. and we don't speak to each other that much because we have a very large mansion. We can walk around and not always be intersecting paths about our values. We can still be a family. But I like talking to you, Granddad, and I kind of want to try to talk to my dad more often without. Okay. Be a douche. I get you. I guess. Get on his team. He's always talking with them. That's that's an idea. Okay, I'll uh, uh, thank you. I'll take it to heart. Absolutely. And I'll sip a random cup of tea he didn't point to. A horrible choice. And as he sips his. Yeah, I'll um, laugh along with him. But it is your choice. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's your... So we're going to jump then. Ben, you skulked and skipped school. What are you doing in your absence? Um... If anything, you can just be s sulking. Like, that's fine. Yeah, maybe I'll, like, well, bored. Um, start messing around with my powers to see what else I can do. Um, I'll, like, see if I, how, like, thin I can stretch myself. And, like, Give um, me an Unleash Your Powers, please. Let's see if you gain some experience or if you are able to do it. Learn something new. see here okay so yeah, describe how you how, how you know, you're able to do it but only for like a little bit of time or something you can describe that if you want so like i guess i'll just like clear stuff off my floor and then like just flatten out <laughs> um and just see how small and thin i can get and then try to see if i can move myself around like walk around okay and you're able to sustain it for a little bit of time, uh, but at, the, at a certain point, like your body feels like it's falling apart almost, even like it, like it needs to come back together. 
So, um, yeah, then I come back. And that's basically what I do all day. Just bullshit around and not leave my room. Okay. Uh, please mark a potential. I think that that counts as training. I know you didn't fail, but that counts. So as you're doing that, we're going to jump to Zara. Zara, you go to school. Uh, does anything exciting happen? I think you would probably have a tutoring session with Zach Efron at the end of the day. I feel like nothing happens. I, I don't know. I probably did not do well in a chemistry assignment or something. It's, it seems on par. Okay, great. Yeah, so in your last period, you are going to have a tutoring session with Zach, I guess. We don't have to, like, do anything if you want um, with that. But just so – I know we it's, earlier we established you would have those. Mm -hmm. So if you want to do one, you can. Otherwise, are you going to go to it, and should we just skip it after? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll I feel like my mom is going to see this chemistry assignment and yell at me if I don't. Um, yes, I was going to say, uh, oof. You know, right. good we're starting. Because uh, this isn't so good. Yeah, 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 I know. It's not great. Hmm. Don't love chemistry. Well, there's a lot of... Oh. Um, uh, resources, yeah. Oh, uh, in, in the books. If you, uh, shit. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Oof. She got stare at him. <laughs> Dead man. Uh, okay, he, he like rubs his head. Um, he's like, oh, we'll just start with that one, and then he'll uh, he'll have, like a very distracted tone that like the whole session that type of thing as he's. He's able to help you some, but it definitely doesn't seem like up to what he normally should be able to do. Uh, do you do anything with that, or do you? I, I'm gonna say, are, are you okay? Like you're acting really weird. I just have a, I just have a headache. Like a, so it's just hard to, you know, really concentrate today. You want to go get like a, like a ibuprofen from the nurse or something? That seems like a bad headache. Yeah, I guess I should do that. Something like that. <laughs> Um, and he'll stand up and start heading to the nurse's office. Oh, is he leaving or is he coming back? Uh, he would come back. You guys still have some more time. All right, I'll I'll wait. Okay. Are you gonna work at all on your chemistry? I guess I'll work on it. I'll probably do most of it wrong. I'll do the stuff that he managed to explain correctly, but everything else is gonna be wrong. Okay. So he'll come back and uh, sit down. He's definitely still rubbing his head. Obviously, the ty Tylenol isn't taking effect yet. So, okay, where where were we? I'm gonna say, are you are you sure you can keep doing this? You seem not good. I mean, I can keep not helping you. Yeah, I mean, I, I've been doing that this whole hour <laughs> for sure. So, <laughs> if we if that needs to keep happening, I can try. <laughs> I mean, if you want to go home and rest, that's fine. I. That's a great idea. Except I have baseball practice, so are let me go sure and do that. Go to baseball. <laughs> Looks. I have a commitment. I have to do it. All right. Well, good luck at baseball practice. Thanks. He'll fold up his stuff and put it away. And he's definitely like rubbing his head as he walks out. And I guess I'll stay there and do some more chemistry homework. I guess I'll I'll do I'll do some of it right now. Absolutely. There you go. So that that's what your tutoring session was like. Um... I'm using the book as a resource now. <laughs> You actually actually opened it for the, first the time. textbook. <laughs> That's unnecessary. That's a necessary step. Um, Burst, what are you doing through the rest of your day? Mm, I'm going to case the mayor's office. Ooh, assess the situation, please, and describe how you, you how you do so. Are you in, you know, superhero garb? Or are you doing some scans? Are you, you know, as a normal civilian? So yeah, describe that after you roll an assess situation, and then I'll tell you what you see. Give me a second. For some reason, like my character sheet is being all weird. Yeah, all good. It, it loaded. Okay, perfect. Assess the situations. How was that? Nine. Ask one question. Um. 
what here can I use to get in undetected? Okay. What here can you see in undetected? Uh, so to get in undetected is pretty easy, at least to get in the first the first step of the way, because they do tours, you know, like through the building. So I'm assuming you would have gone on one of those uh, if you're scoping the place out too. Um, so there are obviously restricted sections. So to get in here easily, let's see, there's you'll you'll probably need to knock out the security system or you know send it on like a, a loop of footage. Um, and then once you do that, it should be pretty easy to sneak in. And then you'll have to see if you can get past any guards or workers. Sure. But to get in undetected, yeah, you'll just need to mess up one of the camera systems in like one of the areas that the tour goes by, and you'll be able to sneak in easily. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, can I can I record this with my? Clearly, obviously, I have contact glasses that are cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can record all that, so you can have, have like. No, I won't do that yet. I was gonna live stream it to Ben and Obsidia, but <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's the moment right now. Um. Okay. Uh. I'm yeah. I'm just gonna take regular video, and I think I'm gonna do get footage so that I can then do a loop for another day. I don't think I'm going to do a heist by myself. Yeah, I get you. So you're going to prepare the things you need, scout out the places. Um, yeah. That means you'll probably also know where the guard patterns are, at least like the ones that are visible from the tour area. Um, so yeah, you'll you'll be able to gather all the information you need. As well and then do I locate where the office is? Yes. Yeah, they walk by and it's just down the hall from one of the sites. Um, it's on the second floor. So you can either get in from right close to there, but it is more heavily guarded, or you can try to, you know, like get in somewhere else on the second floor and like sneak your way over there, that type of thing. Sure. Before we go to the other guys, I guess the next thing I'm going to do to prepare for this is go to my local public office building and just get the regular plans that are publicly available. Oh, okay. Well, then yeah, you are. Building, right. It's a public place. I should be able to get plans to see about fence and anything like that. And then, yeah, go for the other peeps. So you are very ready for a heist if you if you make a plan out of one. Um, ben, you would probably get a text after school asking where where you are. It's uh, from Zach Efron. Oh yeah. Um, feeling sick. I, I just respond. Um, didn't go to school. Oh, damn man! Really looking forward to it, playing some baseball, but. See you tomorrow. Hope you feel better. Thanks. Um, great. So you guys do that. Uh, is there anything else anyone wants to do today? Great. Absolutely. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to jump to you. Or burst. You are back at home. Mm -hmm. um, and as you enter, you see that uh, Turbo is walking around um, showing someone the place saying, you know, like, oh, here this thing is. Obviously, he's going through a whole mansion. So he's like an ancient portrait of our great grandfather. No, it's the great grandfather's one you guys don't know what it looks like. So the great great grandfather and that, that one's missing. Um, so yeah, he's leading like a blonde lady around. Hey, uh, Turbo, what are you up to? Oh, uh, Shit, yeah, don't oh, so don't tell dad, but Katie here wanted to see the place, you know what I mean? So I brought her by. Um, oh, okay. yeah, I'm burst. I'm gonna like put my hand out to uh, you know, handshake. Wait, sorry, what was that? I'm gonna do a handshake. Oh, absolutely, yeah, she'll shake your hand. So you guys have and an I excellent place here, hand, like a like a little, a little tiny micro camera or chip or some tracking device on her have you okay. seen Todd kids yes do you remember that he had like the tiniest camera that kind of fit on his like finger mm -hmm. like that but a tracker form okay uh absolutely you could put that on katie 
Um, and she'll say, yeah, super nice to meet you. You guys have a lovely place. Um, yeah. Are you two friends, colleagues? And uh, Turbo's going to say, like, hey, I, yeah, you know, Dad doesn't let us, like, bring people here or whatever. So, you know, just keep that low, that type of thing. We're, you know, she's just checking the place out. It's a pretty cool place. Yeah, Turbo, but there's a reason why Dad doesn't let people look around the house. Yeah, because he's, you know, an asshole. We all know that. I mean, so easy. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I'm completely on board with this now. I'll cover for you. Absolutely. Um, and he's going to take her in. We have to have a talk later, though. But yes, I'll cover for you right now. Uh, enjoy your time. Don't forget to check out the, the bowling alley. Uh, yeah, of course. That's definitely where we're going next. Um, so he'll take her uh, and walk you know, away. You will also notice, you will have seen this person before. I should have said this earlier. Um, you know what you know Katie um, from your research about Watrous's identity. So you would know the individual that you just ran into. Um, oh, I do. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, as I walk away, then I'm going to yell out, uh, keep a close watch out. Oh, I will. And that's Katie yells back. Now, Turbo is not paying attention to you. The second you're out of sight, he's like, whatever. <laughs> um, absolutely. So they'll walk away. Uh, and that'll probably be all for today. I think also when you try to check the tracker, whenever you do that next, it'll say uh, location unavailable. Ah, oh, that bitch she found. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you, you could probably even find it like on your desk later or something like that, you know? Sure, yeah, why not? It's like, you know, sparking a little bit and it's sitting there on your desk. Maybe it says like nice try above it, has like a post it note, that type of thing. Oh, is she like i thought we were like fucking young no it said she was like 16 or something right yeah she's similar aged as you guys oh turbo you're getting your heart played with that's okay uh, i guess i'll text ben and just be like hey what's up as i like look at the sparking tracker i'll i'll send a photo that i was able to take with my computer of me like super stretched out and no, no text or anything. That's the response. <laughs> so you're experimenting with your powers. Okay, I mean, usually this happens earlier on, but I'm glad for you. This is all in a text? Yeah. Nice I like how Ben said one picture and first just goes off on this whole thing. <laughs> for experimenting with your powers. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is bursting on a goddamn text? Literally no friends, nobody in his family. Like, yeah, he's Damn. not sure how this works other than Bluetooth techno shit. Absolutely. So yeah, you get a long text back, Ben. Um, did you, re you respond in any way or have you had enough? <laughs> I'll just say, yeah. And then like four other pictures of different stuff that I was like, practicing yeah tell them about climbing up walls yeah i'll do like the spider one and then there's one where i get really skinny and then like really i'm a pole <laughs> oh um. absolutely so yeah you do all of that um do you say anything else first do you have a lot of more words of encouragement or <laughs> i'm gonna I'm going to text him first. I think I get it. I'm going to then send him a picture of the plans for the government building that the mayor's at, just like blueprints. And I'm just going to text you in question mark. And that's it. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll send a picture of me as like a check mark. Oh, it's like a yes. And I'm going to just do a fist bump and roll around my chair as I've just hired, well, I guess just adopted the first person to the heist plan. Yay! 
At least Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so I think at this point we can end here, or you can try to get another person on your heist plan if you want. Um, or we can just end, and we will pick up with that next time. Can I just send Zara the same text? Yeah, sorry, you get a picture of a government building, and it says you win. And I'm just going to say sure. Yay! Another, another chair twist. You might not even know it's a... You might just get a... It might just be random blueprints. You might not even know it's like a government building. But whatever, very nice. <laughs> um, well, fantastic. Texting. I'll do anything to get out of my house. Um, great. See, I, I think you and your mom are probably having a discussion about chemistry. I think she'll be asking how it goes when you get home, for sure. So I think that would definitely want you to prompt to leave. Uh, um, and that's where we'll end. So you guys are ready for a heist. A heist of... I'm ready for a heist. They're just here to hang out. It's going to be really fucked up next session when I'm making them invade a government building. <laughs> um, the less what are you trying to get? The better. What are you trying to get again from there? Emails. Like, it's not even like... I don't even know if this is going to be useful at all. I was literally just trying to make a Hillary joke. Tries... Trying but here to get we emails. A whole trying to get emails. Okay, from Mayor. Absolutely. Well, that's good to know that that's what you're going for. Government access is the main background, I guess, goal. Because it's like if the dad doesn't do it, but it's just emails. I'm looking for emails. Oh, yeah. Okay. And government, yeah, that makes sense. Well, great. We will play in two weeks. Nice. Yes, we'll play in two weeks. And we will see where your guys' heist goes, I guess. Um, oh, wait, no, no, no. There's one more thing. You end of session that? moves. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, those things that, we're, that we uh, forgot. Uh, yes, we got them this time. Is it the same as before? Yes, it is the same. You need to tell me, okay, tell well, everyone. I'm going to do this super easy because... Clearly, I grew closer to the team. I just succeeded at texting and started a heist. Absolutely. He's loving it again. Zara is completely forgiven. Like, honestly, he's just moved on and is now into bigger, better things. Nice. Great. Absolutely. So, yeah, please uh, give an influence if they need it. Otherwise, in clearer condition, remark potential. Give influence to that character. Um, I guess I'll go and give influence. Is it just one character? Oh, who yeah. Who feel welcome? Eh, I'm just going to say that Ben for right now. Can I give influence to Zara too? Yep. You, yeah, you can give influence whenever you want to any character you want. All right, then Ben and Zara get influence. And then Mark Potential. Which is the last one I need to I'll level up later, though. Great. Absolutely. Um, Zara, do you have one of the three? Um, I'd say grow closer to the team. Burst broke me out of prison, so we're buddies, I would I would say. And Ben and I had a good old time. Uh, so, well, he doesn't know. I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's a wall-climbing spider, so. <laughs> um, I, absolutely. I think they both already have influence. Sounds good. And then uh, Ben. Hello. I'll say I grew into your own image of yourself. Um, I, I kind of see a little clear that I want to be like a, a superhero, but not like a bursts dad type of superhero but more like a like watcher's hero? superhero. Um, oh, wait, are you saying that you want to align? You feel more aligned with watchress? Yeah. Like that? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. And I, 
yeah, now I'm like actually excited to learn about my powers and stuff. Hence the pole shift shaping. Um, well, fantastic. Well, there it is, guys. Wait, so we're we gonna say something else? No, I just I, I shift a label up and down, but that was just me talking to myself. Okay, fantastic. So, yep. Well, we will meet in two weeks. Have a good. Uh, I'm sure we'll talk about GameStop and such in between uh, <laughs> now and then. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be over by the end of the week because I'm getting stressed. <laughs> Yeah, you definitely gotta ride those emotions. Definitely ride those emotions for sure. It definitely helps having Wall Street Bets and everyone just knowing that you're not the only one holding makes it feel a lot better. You need that's an really, echo chamber for sure. That's really the only reason this is happening because everyone <laughs> as a community can get together and say, "Don't sell, hold it." Yeah, I definitely get that. I feel like I would. I mean, I did sell, so I understand. <laughs> yeah, I when understand it went down, I was like, "Oh no." <laughs> Where are my people to tell me this is a good idea? Yep, it's it's going. We'll see. Well, absolutely. Cool, cool. Well, thanks, guys. It alone now, since you and Patrick both. Did. I expected Patrick to dip. I was surprised he bought in. I, I wasn't surprised he bought in, but yeah. I'm definitely annoyed that I sold. But I made two hundred dollars, so it's like yeah, whatever. you made money. Yeah, I didn't lose anything. <laughs> I guess I heard the rest of Wall Street bets though. I reduced. At the least price you probably. only had one share. It could have That's been true. worse. If you had bought like a hundred shares, I would have been really pissed off. If I bought a hundred shares, I would have made twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. So <laughs> I would have been sitting pretty for sure. <laughs> yeah, I, I, my, my shares average out to be not as expensive as the people who bought at the high today, but. I'm not even close to that, but they're yeah, I was like, okay. I mean, that's the highest it's ever been, though. So that means it could be any moment before the highest. <laughs> it's not a good sign is what no, I'm trying to like say. No, mine's like far below the low for the day. Oh. Well, absolutely. Hopefully it keeps going up. And that's Fingers all we crossed. talk about. <laughs> and then John will come in and tell me to sell it all. <laughs> I know. What a bear. What a bear. He doesn't think it's going to go to the moon, which it will. It's, if you say it's not going to go to the moon, it's not going to go to the moon. It's all about, oh, it's all about mm. the hype, you know? That is accurate. You gotta have faith in it. That, this is all faith in everyone <laughs> at Wall Street. But... <laughs> what a better, what a, they couldn't, I couldn't pick a better group of people to be in the hands of, for <laughs> sure. I definitely, if it's one group, it needs to be Wall Just Street. The best. finest of our finest. If, <laughs> Hey, if this was like r slash investing or r slash stocks, we would have sold a long time ago. Like, we're only riding this because of the Wall Street bets. <laughs> That's true. They're the only ones who are stubborn and dumb enough to sit here and say, don't sell it, hold it. They take it like, personally. Like... I'm taking it kind of personally. <laughs> I'm investors. They're out, like, what, a few billion. The fact that they're playing with a few billion dollars the same way I play with, like, way less than that really pisses me off i'm like why is yeah. a few billion dollars pocket change to you down with the bourgeoisie yeah, yeah fuck them why do they don't need this money yeah people are paying off like they're posting about how they're paying off like student loans and like hospital bills someone was like i like bought my mom a gift like wrote her a check and i'm like that's so much better than seeing any billionaire just get richer yeah, that's true. Well, I can't imagine paying off my student loans right now when by when they're trying to forgive part of it. I definitely would leave however much un you know, I would leave a little bit. Yeah. But I don't they're not too bad of student loans. I don't know, I don't know. I mean good for them. Either way, absolutely. Paying off your student loans is definitely not a bad thing. Yeah, and if it doesn't pan out as expected, you're just accumulating interest. That's true. That is so I true. guess if they want to get it out of the way, it's worth it. Well, not till. Are, are yours in delayed? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say mine. Oh, got delayed again. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like the first day, I think the new lady delayed them until September. Oh, nice. And if they can do that, why do they ever have us pay them back? Just say fuck it. <laughs> delayed forever. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah, but Eric I like run as a government official. What? Eric should run as a government yeah. official. I've yeah, always wanted should. to. I think it'd Eric be fun. Be, Eric will be like, oh. why pay interest on anything? Just pay <laughs> I don't it back think I'd be. Bad. 
good, but I think it would be fun and it would be funny to win. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you so... love on Wall Street bets? <laughs> <laughs> like who wouldn't want to just like win especially since i mean if it's an elected position and i don't have the credentials that's amazing because i've been elected like what are you gonna do i don't have the credentials i don't know what i'm doing but that's i have the job a, that's yeah. the equivalent of if some, kanye had somehow won the presidential <laughs> election like what would we if we had all voted him into the office as a meme i don't know what we would do then <laughs> i don't think we would have Suffer. expected it we would have been sitting there Suffer. like oh <laughs> Yeah, it's probably suffer. I, I don't think he would be good for our overall <laughs> country's health. Absolutely not. It, <laughs> that literally would have just been a me. That's what would happen if Wall Street bets was a majority of our population. <laughs> They're <laughs> getting about- there. They doubled in like five days, like to like four yeah, million. People are or only on there because they think they can make quick money, but most of That's the time, what Wall Street bets is. <laughs> That's yeah, the whole it's point. Making quick money and losing quick money. It is losing money. That is. <laughs> I mean, I think right now is particularly is like a particularly hype time, but it's yeah. not gonna last. No, <laughs> because now everyone's just in like, what's the next short squeeze? But the last one was like what twelve years ago or something like that. So yeah, they're definitely yeah. not common. <laughs> yeah, and this is something's gonna happen after this for sure because the rich hate us. They're like, you I can't, so. have, you can't have any of our money. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> dick bags i'm sure they're seething that deep fucking value has made <laughs> so much money <laughs> off their misery well good for him i hope it continues to happen it makes lots of money that's the important I hope he holds forever well i hope not because well, i hope he holds down. forever if it stays up continues hope- forever <laughs> no it could stay like whatever high price it stops at how? <laughs> I don't know. It's Maybe GameStop. GameStop. That's how stocks work. <laughs> if GameStop really has a turnaround year, you never know. <laughs> a turnaround year for GameStop. I heavily doubt that. Apparently, they that. hired new management. Maybe they're really good. I mean, 10,000% good in like one year? I don't know. <laughs> really Honestly, good. I bet you every intense follower of our uh, Wall Street bets would buy a ton of stuff if they made the stock skyrocket. <laughs> they would probably turn around and go and just buy everything at GameStop because they're... If that boosted their own stocks, yeah, probably. That's the key. You got to buy enough stuff from GameStop <laughs> to influence the earnings so that you make more money. GameStop has not commented at all. They haven't, like, plugged themselves. They haven't said, like... They haven't announced well, anything interesting. What would they do? Company. I'm sure you're you like, far away from the idea that a stock should theoretically derive value from actual like <laughs> things instead of just a meme. So like, as soon as you attach your name, is like, hey, we're actually a company here that is losing money currently. <laughs> uh. They could say anything, and everyone would probably lose their minds. At this. Their Twitter comments are definitely all Wall Street bets, like rocket ships and stuff. So, I, I, I checked them out because so I thought it'd be funny, and oh it was. God. It was funny. I was like, "There's no way anyone's talking about GameStop right now that isn't just making memes about it." Like, there's just no way. Imagine being the first guy in that company who woke up and checked the stock and was just like, "Why is it like a hundred something dollars?" <laughs> Oh, there, yeah, I'm sure there's been several meetings. They're like, what the fuck is going on? They had to have like some like low level finance guy explain what Wall Street bets is and why <laughs> it's caused everyone's. I saw someone yeah, post the, the CEO at GameStop and just looking at all this go down when you're like, what, two, three weeks into the job and you're just like, oh my. I'm God. killing it. That's what I would be thinking. <laughs> You'd be like, I deserve a raise. Look how much profit we've turned on the stock because of me is that the real identity you think of deep fucking value just the ceo he's the ceo <laughs> okay, then wall street bets would really be screwed they would definitely shut it down at that that'd be hilarious though that'd be so <laughs> true oh that would God. definitely be funny that would imagine at the end of all this it just comes out and he's like surprise it was me all along <laughs> You got played. The SEC investigates. You would definitely get in trouble. 
Yeah, that's not ideal. Oh my gosh, the subreddit is ridiculous. It's all capital letters and yelling. The way it should be. Yeah. Got to get the hype up. Oh my gosh, there's another 600,000 members since this afternoon. What? There was 600,000 new members since like yesterday, this morning, and then another 600,000 this afternoon, I guess. Yeah, so this what afternoon the they had like 800,000 active users. At like, I just saw someone like screenshotted that at some point. Holy shit. <laughs> the... Um... You know how it has, like, it tells you how many members and how many are online, like you just mentioned. Um, my dad sent me an article, and they were like, the users call themselves degenerates, and there are this many of them buying FDs. And I was like, no, that's not what that means. It just means that people are there. Like, they took it literally. Oh. <laughs> I was like, that's not uh -huh. like, It's literally just the number of members. Off. They were like, and there's 700,000 members buying FDs now. And I was like, no. <laughs> It flushed. It's just the people who are online. Please. I saw, I saw one where they quoted one of the comments where the guy said that he YOLO'd his dad's life savings <laughs> on GameStop. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That's really fucked up. He said he YOLO'd his life savings. He was like, you'll either be living on a yacht or living off food stamps for the rest of his <laughs> But like he probably that could just be a made up story. Like he's not a reliable source. That's why like, everyone now according is saying, to so. Now everyone's saying you have to post proof if you're gonna say that you did something. Like you have to screenshot your accounts yeah, or like, something. Yeah, like screenshot your profits or something. Okay, I was like, yeah, they told that guy that he was serious. He yoloed his dancing. Fucking, okay, maybe someone did honestly, but honestly, people are yoloing so much right now. They're like, you know what, we're going. <laughs> well, I mean, look, that's the way to turn money into more money or less you money. Can hype it to the moon. <laughs> Then hype it to the moon, I guess. I mean, that's interesting. Uh, uh, AMC is up 300% on a similar, like, I don't know, push. But I AMC feel... doesn't have, like, the this, this short squeeze behind it, right? Isn't AMC no, just like, trying to pump just... and dump it? But people don't... Tr AMC is, like, the one stock right now on um, Wall Street Bets that people really don't trust. They're saying it's bots plugging it, trying to distract. Like, trying to get people to pull money out of GME. Oh, uh, okay. I bought Blackberry. That have popped up about Wall Street bets. The what? There's a bunch of fake Twitter accounts. Oh, yeah. Wall and they're so making the mods, it look really bad. They made, like, it's WSB mods, and anything else is fake. And there's, like, a bunch of... Yeah, it's, like, fucked up, because they're, like, dropping a bunch of advice and, like, plans on, like, ah, sell GME now and whatever. And it's all fake people damn people really... are suspecting it's all like the hedge fund investors and anyone who has like owns the shorts i wouldn't be surprised if 